Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Drum History News. Um, today we have a really special one that features two iconic people and an iconic drum um, model, which is the Gretsch Gladstone. This ad is from 1939 and it features both Chick Webb and Billy Gladstone, which in the history of drums, those are two guys who I don't know if it gets more kind of uh, mythical than the both of them. Chick Webb died that same year, so it's very sad that uh, he finally made it to, you know, drum stardom where he would be endorsed by Gretsch and uh, he couldn't really fully enjoy it because he he passed away of tuberculosis of the spine in 1939. So it says in big letters on the top, the king of the drums chooses the Gretsch Gladstone, king of drums. When a killer diller like Chick Webb goes into the groove with a 100% Gretsch Gladstone combination, the cash customers get a real taste of solid sending. Rhythm that sets feet a-tapping, hearts a-flutter, ears a-tingle with his sheer mastery over the skins. Now on tour, Chick is giving the country just the jive it has been waiting for. And then next to that, we have Chick Webb with his big, huge smile and his Gretsch Gladstone drum set that has the little inlays of the baby chicks, which we've learned that those were green, which it's hard to tell from the um, black and white pictures, but we found that out through the uh, episode with Chet. Then down below, we have a uh, nice picture of smiling Billy Gladstone, and it says the man who named these drums. Only a top flight drummer like Billy Gladstone could have invented the famous Gretsch Gladstone drum, and only America's oldest drum factory could have built it. Featured artist in Erno Rappé's Radio City Music Hall Symphony Orchestra, Billy's performance rates triple A1 in coaxing out of a drum head every ounce of power and precision the man with the baton calls for. Then next to it, it says... Send for interesting illustrated free drum catalog, M50. The Fred Gretsch Manufacturing Co., makers of musical instruments since 1883. Then we have the address below, one in Chicago and one in Brooklyn for um, Gretsch. I just think this is such a cool ad that is um, really an interesting piece of history because in 1939, Chick passed away. So he had just reached the pinnacle of you know his drumming fame uh, by being a, a truly a celebrity drummer. He got his big endorsement with Gretsch, but it's just a shame because he couldn't really enjoy it for that long. He passed away in 1939, the same year that this happened. Um, I believe in 39, he was on the actual cover of a Gretsch catalog, um, probably the one it's referring to in this advertisement. Chick and Billy Gladstone are both just such special people who've made a very long lasting impression on the drum world. Cool ad. Um, if you want to learn more about Chick Webb, be sure to go back and check out my episode with Chet Falzerano. Chet is the man when it comes to both Billy Gladstone and Chick Webb. So on that note, be sure to check out um, Chet's episode I did about Billy Gladstone as well. One thing I'll add, too, is someone on YouTube asked the question of what happened to Billy Gladstone's drums. Chet said that he has been searching his entire collecting life and has never found um, any actual uh chick web drums or drum sets or cymbals or anything um he said brooks tegler had a line on a bass drum but nothing materialized so who knows these drums could be out there they could be in a basement or an attic or somewhere they could be in your town so keep an eye out for a drum with a little green baby chick on it uh, if you find that holy cow that would be unbelievable and that's uh it's it's possible could be out there so Anyway, thanks for checking out this episode of Drum History News. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks again to Chet Falzerano for giving me this ad, and uh, we will see you next week.